What's up guys, my name is Kaz. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you six tips that you can use to help you become or get started at becoming the YouTuber that you always wanted to be. Stay tuned. Just to give you a quick history on myself, before we get into the tips, I've been making YouTube videos for about three plus years now. And I have a second channel called Simply Kaz, which is now bigger and growing faster than this channel. I would say I got serious about YouTube about a year and a half ago and in the entire three years I've experienced so much I think I have enough information so at least you can walk away with something and get started at becoming the YouTuber you want to be. The first step I'm going to give you guys is know what you want to vlog about. When I first began YouTube some three plus years ago I was a victim of this very same issue. I knew that I had YouTubers I watched regularly like Boogie2988. You had T. Martin, Alie, and I enjoy something about each one. However, they're their own persons, have their own styles, they present on slightly different topics, passionate about what they do, and they're experts in their respective field. When I started out YouTube, it was like a, oops, I made a video and I got views. It wasn't intentional at first and a more of a random vlog. It sounds like a success, but if you look at it in the long haul, this can be an issue. The issue is that you may fall into a trap of pleasing the crowd and not yourself. YouTube is an emotional roller coaster, and one day you're going to be loved and the next day you're going to be the scum of the earth. Therefore, if you believe and know what you want to vlog about, you're taking the first step into YouTube bliss. This will also keep you focused on an area which you will eventually become a guru on because like I just said, anything practiced long enough, you will become proficient in. The next tip I'm going to give you guys is to find the magic within yourself. When I say find the magic within, I don't mean pixie dust or some mystical thing. I mean finding that special thing about you that your family sees, your friend sees, everybody who thinks you're cool sees. After finding it, you must be able to present it to the world through YouTube. A starting point can be looking at your favorite YouTubers and taking notes. You like Ali A. You like T. Martin. You like Boogie2988, but you're not them, and don't try to be. Something special about each of them connects you to them, and you like it. You know why you like it? It's because they've found a way to present their personalities to the world through media. They're passionate about their crafts, and they made themselves into experts over time, although they wasn't experts at first. With their notes you've taken, you can use parts of their style and improve where you think improvement is needed to make it your own. This point is crucial because you don't want to be them, but you want to be like them. The bottom line, guys, is you got to face your strengths and weaknesses and use what you've learned to make it you. Make you become you. All right. Tip number three, take no days off, period. YouTube never stops. So why should you? Just because you have free time doesn't mean you use that time to waste or chill. The truth about the matter is that your favorite YouTubers are actually workaholics. They don't tell you that, at least for the most part, but they are workaholics. That's what makes them into great experts and that's why they keep up with the changing times. In your free time, you need to be thinking about how can I make my videos better? What equipment I need to improve? What would be my next topic to speak or cover? These are the things you need to meditate on on your free time and not television, texting, partying, or some type of lollygagging. These frivolous hobbies need to stop so that you can start becoming a YouTuber that you want to be. It's a very tough commitment. I, I don't know if anybody told you that, but it's a tough commitment. And if you do the things that I tell you in this video for at least five years, watch how far you grow. Watch the growth you've taken in this five years. The best example I can give you right now on the fly is LeBron James. He's considered to be the best basketball player in the world. Although I kind of like Stephen Curry more, he's at the top of his field because he took no days off. When you're not in the action doesn't mean you can't meditate on improving your actions. YouTube is no different because you get what you put in. You put in mediocre videos, you put in once in a while videos, you get mediocre subscriber numbers and you get once in a while responses. So take no days off. Listen to what I'm saying and take no days off, period. Tip number four. Take your eyes off the prize. I know it sounds a little bit backwards, but what I mean by this is that you started off YouTube with no videos, no direction, 
nothing. You knew that you wanted a million subscribers. You knew you wanted 100,000 subscribers. You knew you wanted 50,000 subscribers, etc. So what do you do? You sell out? Okay, sure, fine. You sell out and you get to your goal by selling out. But once you get there, you're expected to do something that you never was truly passionate about just to sustain your status quo. This can lead to producing mediocre content which will allow someone who is truly passionate about doing the same thing you're doing that by selling out to take your spot. Not only that, but this turns into a vicious cycle of pleasing others and not living up to who you are. Most people will be so focused on the prize, but they lose themselves in the process of obtaining that goal. I tell you this, focus on what you believe in, whatever direction it may be, and people will see your point of view and your passion. When they see your passion, which will spill into your production, they will support you. In the end, when you get to the top of that mountain, you will truly enjoy that victory and be capable of maintaining and surpassing that status. So when I say take your eyes off of the prize, I mean show your passion. Be focused on your passion. Don't be so focused on the goal. The goal is a plus. But know that your passion is what is really important. And when people see that, guys, they will follow you. It's not, a, it's not a question. It is a statement. They will follow you. People love to see when someone is confident in what they do and they're great at what they do because they're passionate about what they do. Take your eyes off of that flipping prize. Tip number five, listen to the wisdom through the noise. This point was inspired by my buddy Nick Singh. He's a really interesting guy, has a cool profession, and is about to start his YouTube channel. I'll leave that link inside the text below this video as soon as he starts it. I think he has the magic to do what he wants to do and become who he wants to be on YouTube. Now he told me some really interesting things. He told me, try not to bring your problems to YouTube and a few others. I could have gotten offended and I could have said, no, yeah, 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 well, I have more experience. I have more experience than you and uh, I have more success than you on YouTube, but that's not a truly wise response. I heard what he said and I found the wisdom in his points. Just because people don't have the talent to do what you do, it doesn't mean that they can't teach you. Listen to the noise, but know how to find the treasures of wisdom in those times. Your subscribers teaches you, your friends teaches you, your family teaches you, and all the above gives you ideas on your next big video. Or it could be the big video. The noise will be mostly the haters, and the wisdom will be in the mix with your true supporters on your channel. So stop talking. Listen. Everybody who gives you negative comments, sometimes you could learn from them also. In fact, I learn from them the most sometimes. You can improve on everything you do from the people around you. So sit back and listen to the wisdom through the noise. Tip number six. Now this tip is gonna be a tie in between two small tips. It's social media and investing in yourself. So starting off with social media, you're putting yourself out there on the internet. Your success depends on the audience. Social media platforms like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram are must. There's no way around it. It's a free advertisement for the most part and sometimes you have to pay to get advertisement. That's okay because if you invest in yourself, that's important as well. But continuing right along with social media, social media will keep you in contact with your supporters. It keeps you grounded. Respond to people, talk with people, be normal, be a normal guy, be a normal girl. People can see if you're genuine or not. If they like you, they will support you. Social media is also the best way to follow active trends and learn things quickly. Getting into and investing in yourself because Investing in yourself in social media, like I showed the link, it's quite close. And this is a vital point because if you don't put any fuel in a vehicle, you can't move. There's no way the car is gonna move. No fuel, no movement. So if you're really passionate about what you wanna do, guys, you're gonna help to purchase some equipment. If you wanna do vlogs, get a better camera. Amazon is gonna be your best friend. Get a better microphone. Do better to get better. We spend money on things that are important to us. Is YouTube important enough to you to not keep up with the Joneses and focus your funds on making your craft better? So that's pretty much all the tips there, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and share this video. Subscribe to my channel. Listen to every tip. Rewind it. Play it again. Play it again and again and again. Meditate on the things that I, I say and everything I cannot say in this video because some things you have to learn 
through experience. And with that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace, 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 peace. In the Caribbean, peace in the Middle East. Deuces. God be the glory, man.